hello, hello. Hola, hola a todos. Bienvenidos a un video nuevo. Welcome, hello everyone. Welcome to a new video or welcome to a new live stream. Uh, how are you doing today? How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Well, today we are going to do a random crossword puzzle. So <laughs> it's a little challenging but it's gonna be fun. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream. Also, you can visit, let me show you, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And to download this crossword puzzle for free, you can go to smlessons.com slash games. I'm also um, leaving the link, the direct link to that in the video description down below. And yeah, you can download more free crossword puzzles on smlessons.com for sure. They're all free. You can also um, just read more about, about Spanish and you can download flashcards and other things. <laughs> so all the links are in the video description down below. Also, I want to give a big, big shout out to Kay Beck and Stella Sabatini. They are Cafecito members. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the coffee. It's just great and I appreciate it a lot. If you like what I do, please consider just to get a membership on this channel if you can because you can get different perks you can get different perks when getting a membership and also you will be supporting this channel so yeah you only need to click on the join button down below to check them out okay please give this video a like that helps me a lot and are you guys ready? I hope we have some people today that want to play and this crossword puzzle is, as I said, a bit difficult, a bit challenging, but it's going to be fun. So that's the crossword puzzle and we have 15 words, okay? So we have a mix of nouns, verbs, and other fun, fun stuff for sure. So please use the live chat to, you know, to answer, to just let me know your answers. And also if you want to comment, if you want to ask a question, you can do that as well. You could also say hola, <laughs> so that is, Great, that is great. So just feel free to use the live chat. So last time KPEC won, she was the winner and she has won once during this month, December, okay? So let's see if she is going to join us today. So hopefully, let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to choose the first, the first layer, the first layer, the first word, and then you are going to let me know the answer and whoever answers correctly has to choose the next number okay so let's see if you guys want to play today otherwise i'll be playing by myself <laughs> so let's see how that goes uh, so let's get started um i think i'm going to do hmm, which one which one will be good you want to do one that is not that difficult something a bit easy uh, so let's see. I think I'm gonna do. Wow, <laughs> I don't know which one. Let's do number five down. Five down. Let's see. Let's see. So five, five down is. 
uh, the number is here. So let's find the let's find the word. Okay, the word is right here. So it's a very 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 well. It's shortish. It's a short. It's a short word. So I think I think it's gonna be easy. <laughs> Okay, so is everyone ready? I just see a few people connected, which I don't know, which I don't know. It looks like you guys don't want to play today, uh, but I'm going to read the definition, okay? The definition, this word has only four letters, four letters, which is not that bad. It's not that bad. So let's see. This is an adjective, okay? This is an adjective and the definition is of a color at the end of the spectrum next to orange and opposite violet or to violet. So we're talking about a color, okay? And this is an adjective as well. We're talking about a color that is at the end of the spectrum next to orange and opposite violet. So, I see someone on the live chat, Fan Mai Hu, hola, hola, Fan Mai Hu, bienvenido, welcome. Uh, so, yeah, so do you want to guess this word, Fan Mai Hu? Once again, this is a color, okay? We're talking about a color, and obviously, well, it has to be in Spanish. This color is at the end of the spectrum next to orange. So it's very close to orange. It's not orange, but it's very, very close to orange. And it's the opposite of violet. The, you know, cold colors like blue and violet, those are very, very far from this color. So it's pretty much the opposite of blue, Fan Mai Hu. <laughs> I like that you submitted the answer azul. Azul means blue, like you say, uh, but that's not the color. So it's the opposite. It's pretty much the opposite of blue. <laughs> so what's the opposite of blue? You almost got it. You almost got it. You are, yeah. Hello, Pascal Ennis. Um, welcome. And you're correct. We're talking about the color red or rojo. Let's see. Rojo. Rojo means red. Okay. And, well, it's a very easy word to learn because, you know, red, rojo, red, Rojo, rojo, red. <laughs> so good job, Pascal. I'm going to give you a point. Good job, guys. Excellent. So Pascal has one point. Now let's see. Can you please, Pascal, let me know the next number? I hope you can hear me well, guys. Let me know if you have any issues or something like that. If you can't hear me well or if something is wrong with the live stream, just let me know. But yeah, Pascal, we have a bunch of numbers. We have... Okay, so Pascal is saying dos vertical, dos vertical. And thank you, Pascal. And that is two down. Okay. And we can see the word right here, guys. It's a, a longish word. It has six letters. Six letters. Okay. So it's it's not that bad. So let's see. Let's see. So this is a noun, guys. 
okay a noun and the definition is two individuals of the same sort considered together okay so we're talking just about two people that are considered together or they're together how do you call this in spanish okay you could also say it could also be like things but it has to be two of them okay so this noun is about either two two individuals or two things or yeah pretty much we're talking about two okay so how do you say this it's it's we could be talking about you know uh, <laughs> i don't want to say it in spanish i mean in english because it's it's too obvious but we could be talking about some people dating you know two people dating or we can be talking about uh two things it could be days it could be objects so fan mai who says geminos i think you you mean gemelos gemelos like twins which is a great answer but we're talking just about two people they don't have to look alike <laughs> so they're not twins <laughs> it's just two people together okay also um as i said it could be things but it has to be two mm -hmm. fan my who is correct we are talking about pareja pareja good job good job uh fan my who you have the right answer hello linette how are you como esta bienvenida so yeah you have it right you fan my who has the right answer we're talking about pareja pareja and this means couple okay so it could be just two people two objects or two things in general <laughs> okay so fan my who gets a point good job okay so i'm going to i'm just going to use this like i'm just gonna say fan my okay so i hope that's okay um we don't have much space there but you get a point my friend so good job uh ks hola saludos de temporada como estas hello ks welcome thank you for being here Bienveni bienvenido or bienvenida um saludos para ti también welcome okay so fan my who says siete abajo siete abajo uh, okay so that that would be seven down seven down okay let's do that one seven down and that word is right here okay so this word has six letters that's not bad <laughs> that's not bad that's another easy one i i think i think i don't know i don't know yet oh boy it's going to be a complicated one actually okay so we are going to conjugate a verb okay so just a conjugation a specific conjugation so we're talking about a verb and we need to know or i need the answer um, about a conjugated form of the verb querer in present tense for the personal pronoun yo and also it's in indicative mood okay so this one is very very tricky you need to let me know or you need to tell me the conjugated form you need to conjugate querer in present tense 
for the personal pronoun yo. Okay, yo means I and also in indicative mood, which is the most basic mood, okay? So how do you, what's the word, what's the conjugation that we need? Let me know if you have any questions because I know this, this is a tricky one, okay? So once again, you need to tell me the conjugated form of the verb querer in present tense for the personal pronoun yo and in indicative mood. And I see already an answer. Wow, KS, you are fast. That's correct, that's correct. Also Lynette, Lynette is right. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Fan my who says corro, and that is correr, not querer, but that's a, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. That's correct, KS and Lynette. You are right. We're talking about quiero, quiero, okay? And that means I want, I want. Querer means to want, and the conjugation that we needed is quiero, quiero. So, excellent. This is a very helpful word if you want to say, I want something, okay? Or, Lynette is saying, te quiero. Yeah, that's a very romantic phrase. And it's similar to saying, I love you. But I actually have a video about querer and amar and or the differences between te amo and te quiero check out my channel if you want to watch that but yeah you're right Lynette so KS gets the point yeah excellent KS okay KS has a point excellent <laughs> KS says, nueve abajo, I use it all the time. Yeah, I know. Quiero is so helpful. Quiero un café. I want a coffee. Quiero un, una cerveza. <laughs> I want a beer. <laughs> so yeah, quiero is so, so useful. I agree, KS. Okay, so nueve abajo, that would be... Uh, nueve abajo. I think it's nine across. That's the only nine that I see. Nine across. And that is right here. So it's very easy. That one is easy. It looks easy, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, so. Nine across. The definition, first, this is going to be a verb, okay, guys? Another verb, but we don't have to conjugate it. So, phew! Okay, so, this is a verb, and the definition is freely transfer the possession of something to someone, hand over to, okay? So, we're talking about a verb, that is about freely transfer or you're transferring a possession of something to someone else okay so you're handing something over to so what is the verb that we need because this verb has three letters only three letters and the one in the middle is the letter a so what verb is it? Do you know? <laughs> yeah. KS. KS, you are correct. Lynette as well. You guys are correct. We are talking about dar. Dar. And let's see the answer. Dar. This is something very like... This verb is going to be used a lot this Christmas because when you uh, give someone a gift, you can use this verb, dar un regalo, to give a gift, right, to someone. So perfect. Fan Mai Hu also is correct and Pascal as well. Dar, 
dar. So, the first one to answer was KS. So, KS gets the point. Good job. Good job, KS. And everybody, you're doing a great job. Okay, so KS is leading. KS has two points. Next, Pascal, one point. And Fan Mai Hu, one point. So, great. Um, KS, please let us know the next number. Oh, that's great, KS. KS is saying cuarto abajo, cuatro, cuatro horizontal. I think that's the number that you're referring to. Thank you. And also KS says, mi madre me da mucho amor. That is great, KS. That's a beautiful example. KS is saying something like, my mother gives me a lot of love. So that's so nice. That's so nice. Excellent example, KS. Thank you. Okay, so cuatro horizontal. I assume that's uh, four across. And let's just find the word. Okay, four across. And that is right here. Okay. Right here. Uh, there is no four down, KS, but we can do four across. <laughs> okay, so we can see already the letter I, the letter E. So let's see. This word has seven letters, four down, four across, sorry. Wow, this is another, this is another verb, okay? We don't have to conjugate it. And the definition is come to have or hold something or receive something. I pretty much said the answer right there. So what is the verb that we need that refers to, you know, receive something? Or come to have or hold something. <laughs> Just like the definition says. And it has the letter I, so it's the opposite of dar, okay? So what's the opposite of dar in Spanish? Hmm. Do you guys know? Hmm. You're close, KS, but that's not the verb. Trent, hello, Trent, welcome. Yes, yes, that's correct. That's correct. Trent has the answer, and we are talking about recibir. 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 Recibir means. Do you guys know what it means? It means very much to get or to receive, okay? So that is the opposite of recibir. That is to give, right? To give and recibir is to get or to receive, okay? So that's another helpful verb during Christmas because, you know, we're talking about gift gifts and presents and all of that so those two verbs are really coming in during christmas <laughs> okay so trent gets a point good job trent okay trent 
gets a point trent in tampa and trent trent is saying hola a todos hello to everyone that's nice hola trent okay so six seis vertical porfa okay you got it let's see where is it hmm that's six down by the way guys and the word is ooh a long word okay this word has three six eight no three six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven yeah eleven words and six down let's see this is a noun okay this is a noun and the definition is the action of making one's pleasure at an important event or occasion by engaging in enjoyable typically social activity okay so we're talking about um an event or an occasion and usually you have fun it's enjoyable and it's typically a social gathering and activity so this noun is used when you have some sort of party right or when you get together to to I don't want to say it in English because it, the spelling is kind of the same, but you just get together, okay? And you are going to, because you have an important event like, I don't know, birthday, um, anniversary, Christmas, <laughs> and so on. Okay, so, aha, uh -huh, find my who and Lynette is almost correct and Trent all is correct okay so just because I've done it before and I know be I know it's hard to type the accent mark on the keyboard I'm going to give the point to Fan Mai Hu and Trent because Fan Mai Hu is is missing just the accent mark but he, he find my who is pretty much correct and trend in tampa has the right spelling and everything is like 100 percent right so you guys both of you get a point but let's see the answer first celebration it has an accent mark on top of the letter oh okay celebration and this means celebration <laughs> so it's the spelling it's very similar so it's an easy very easy word to remember and i'm going to give the point to trent and to find my who perfect so Wow, we have KS two points, Fan Mai Hu two points, Trent in Tampa two points, and Pascal one point. So, ha, huh, I like it. I like it. Perfect. So, either Fan Mai Hu or Trent, please let me know the next number. yeah that's that's why i understand that some people can't type the accent mark that's totally fine don't worry about it find my who you you still got the point <laughs> that's what we do here specifically just if you're missing an accent mark that's that's fine as long as the the spelling is correct okay uno across across <laughs> or something like that uno a uno a okay so that 
that's one. Uh, one across. Okay, so that's right here, guys. This is the word, and it has six letters. Six letters, that's not bad, that's not bad. And let's see the definition. One across. This is a noun, and the definition is a large fire that is made outside to burn unwanted, unwanted things or for pleasure, okay? So usually this is more for pleasure, but yeah, in some situations, it could be about burning unwanted things, but yeah, usually for pleasure. <laughs> so if you're camping, you have usually this, you, you make this, and it's just a large fire that is made outside. Usually not too large, I will say it's a small, <laughs> small contained fire <laughs> that people make. Remember in Spanish, Lynette, but yeah, that is the answer. Uh, Oguera. Trent says Oguera. That's a great guess, but it that's a synonym of this. So we're looking for a synonym. It's not Oguera, although it's very similar. We're, t we're talking about, like Lynette said, a bonfire, but what's the word in Spanish? Pan who says granero. Granero. Hmm. That's not the answer. That's a good guess, but usually graneros, that is if you are like storing grains, a place where you store grains. So, nope. <laughs> Aha, yeah, okay. Trent and KS are correct we are talking about fogata fogata and that means bonfire let's see the word fogata fogata la fogata that's correct que yes it's feminine la fogata uh, means the bonfire and trent answered first so trent gets the point Excellent, guys. Good job. Pascal says fuego. <laughs> fuego is fire, but yeah, it's related to a bonfire. But the word that we're looking for is fogata. Fogata. Okay, great. Um, Trent, can you please let us know the next number? <laughs> Kaya says one across. But that's Fogata. <laughs> oh boy. KS is, let, is telling us a number. But <laughs> Trent in Tampa was the first one to answer. So let's see. Let's see what Trent says. One down is very, very, uh, let me see if it's easy. It's not bad, one down, it's not bad, yeah. Okay, so KS and Trent both say uno horizontal. Perfect, so let's do that one. <laughs> yeah, uno horizontal is fogata once again, but yeah, one down is uno vertical. Uh, I also got confused. 
<laughs> okay, so one, uno vertical. That's one down. Thank you, guys. And um, that is right here. Okay, so another three word, three letter word. And um, this is a noun. The first letter is F. <laughs> and the definition is a final part of something, especially a period of time an activity an activity or a story so about a final part <laughs> so usually when the movie ends uh, before like old movies they have you know that but in Spanish how would you call that in Spanish and yeah oh boy I see <laughs> I see some typos <laughs> But yeah, Trent, you got it. Yeah. Trent answered first, but also Fan Mei Hu is correct. Lynette corrected the typo. Yeah. And KS also says Fien. So yeah, guys, you are correct. We are talking about Fien. And this means and. Okay. El Fien. The end. <laughs> El fin. <laughs> and well, it's quite easy, right? That's a very easy word to remember. And who gets a point? Let's see. Uh, Trent. Trent gets the point. Uh huh. Okay, so Trent gets another point. He Trent is leading, so that's that's great. That's great, Trent. Good job. Also, KS, Fan Mei Hu, two points. They both have two points and Pascal, one point. Okay. Trent says, Diez vertical, por favor. You got it. And also KS says, Fin de semana. Weekend. Yeah. Almost, almost. But yeah, it's a great use of the word fin. Thank you for sharing, KS. Okay, also Lynette, hasta el fin del mundo. Oh, another romantic phrase, Lynette. I like it. Yeah, uh, hasta el fin del mundo means until the end of the world. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, okay, Fan Mei Hu says, Trent in Tampa, you are going down, my friend. Oh, boy. <laughs> Be careful, Trent. <laughs> Fan Mei Hu wants to win, so that's that's great. I like the I like the competition. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, so Trent, yes, vertical, por favor. Okay, you got it. Let's see. Yes, vertical. Ten down. That means ten down, guys. And the word is. A short one right here the second letter is the letter I and this word has only four letters okay let's see the definition oh this one is good because we're gonna do some math okay some math mathematics <laughs> and um, it we're talking about a number but you have to don't use numbers, just use, um, you know, the alphabet for this. We need the written or not the number, but the letters of this number. Okay. I don't know if I'm confusing you guys, but I'm going to tell you um, an addition. Okay. An addition. And you're going to tell me the result or the total. And it has to be using the just letters okay not not numbers so <laughs> i see someone already saying <laughs> someone already saying the answer trent says yes lynette yes no that's not the answer the addition is 30 35 
plus 65 equals what? <laughs> I like this one. I like this one. It's a bit challenging. 35 plus 65 equals equals <laughs> uh, I see KS says en la pandemia y desempleo cada día es fin de semana. Yeah, I agree KS. It feels like every day is a weekend day. Yeah, for sure. Or the weekend. Uh, Trent in Tampa says, find my who, at find my who, I'm not in an elevator. Huh? <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a good comeback for sure. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Wow, okay. Hmm. Trent. Trent answered first. Uh... Lynette says, dice, dice, I don't think that's a number, my friend, but that, that was a good try. Fan me who, cien, Lynette corrected herself, cien. Uh, KS says, noventa y cinco, noventa y no, well, KS, we have only four letters, so I don't think that fits in there, but that's a great guess, that's a great guess. So, Guys, the answer is cien. Cien. Yeah, just hundred. A hundred. <laughs> so this one was very good. I really liked it. And you guys were very fast. But someone was the fastest. The fastest. And that one was Trent. Trent gets the point. Okay, so... Trent has total five points, okay, guys? Uh, but yeah, CN means 100 or 100, okay? So that's a, a very interesting one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this more, you know? I like math, so I think I should do more of this. <laughs> what do you think, guys? <laughs> okay, Trent in Tampa, Ocho Horizontal. Ocho horizontal. So that's eight across, guys. Okay. So. Ocho horizontal is right here. The third letter is the letter R. And um, this word has six letters. Okay. So it's not that bad. Um, so, this is a noun, and the definition is an act of directing one's gaze in order to see someone or something, okay? Or also, well, you can get that <laughs> gaze, you know, and you can kind of like, you can tell someone, hey, why are you you're not doing that <laughs> so pretty much guys you are um directing your one's gaze in order to see someone or something so how do you say this in spanish there is a specific word for this remember this is um noun so it's similar to staring <laughs> but um it has the letter R, the letter R in the middle, almost in the middle. And remember, it's a noun. It's not a verb or a conjugated verb. So how do you say this in Spanish? Fanme who says mirando. You're pretty close, my friend. You're pretty close, but that's not, that's not, you're, you're closer, but you, you have an extra letter, Van Mejo. Lynette says, carrera, car, carrera. Hmm, that's a good guess, but that's not the answer. 
Fan Mai Hu, you have it almost right. You need to get rid of one thing, one letter. Yes, that's correct. Fan Mai Hu says mirada. K is also says mirada, and that is the answer. That is the answer. Let's see the answer. Mirada, mirada, and this means look, as in you know someone's look, not the fashion, you know the clothes or something like that. We're talking about just someone staring in a certain way, you know. So yeah, look and uh, mirada. Yeah, that's correct. Like I said. The person who gets the point is Fan Mai Hu. Yeah, Mirada. Fan Mai Hu was the first one to answer. Um, and let's give the point to Fan Mai Hu. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> Giving you less points. Sorry about that. <laughs> Three points total for Fan Mai Hu. That's the total, okay? So far, Trent five, Pascal one, and KS two. Great. Okay. So fun, my who? Please let us know the next, the next number. Seis, seis horizontal. Okay. Let's see where it is. That's six across, guys. Okay. And that word is right here. The first letter is letter C. The third letter is letter N. And it has six, seven, eight letters. This is a verb. And we're going to conjugate it. We're going to conjugate it, guys. <laughs> and... We need to conjugate the verb cantar. Cantar means to sing in present tense for the personal pronoun nosotros. Nosotros means we. And also it's in indicative mood. In the indicative mood. So what is the conjugated form of this verb? Do you guys know? <laughs> it's this is a tough one. It's not that tough, but it's it's challenging for sure. Once again, guys, you need to conjugate the verb cantar, cantar in present tense for the personal pronoun nosotros. Okay? And in indicative mood. Mm -hmm. K KS and Pan Mai Hu are correct. Cantamos. Cantamos. So, Lynette, you almost, you were almost right. But KS and Pan Mai Hu, they answered correctly. The answer is cantamos. Cantamos. And this means we sing. Okay, we sing, cantamos. And KS, KS was the first one to answer, so KS gets a point. Oh boy, oh boy, like it's getting, getting competitive. We have only four more words to go, guys. So let's see what happens. That's correct, Pascal. And it says, cantamos, that's, yep, that's the answer. We sing, cantamos. Okay, so please, KS, let us know the next number. Okay, yes, it says 11 across. Quiero cantar, no puedo. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, yes, it says I want to sing. I can't. Um, 
I'm pretty sure you can, KS. It's just good to sing, you know? It's good to sing. It's, it's nice to just uh, sing your favorite song. That's, that's amazing. But uh, yeah, it's just an enjoyable thing to do. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, <laughs> Pascal says, well, fan my, what? <laughs> Lynette Gig says, music very suiting. Well, I'm glad you like the music, Lynette. I like it too. I like it too, for sure. So let's do 11 across, guys. 11 across, that's once horizontal. And the word is right here. And we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Let's see what happens. 11 across is a noun. And this noun has seven letters. The middle letter is the letter I. And the definition is a group of one or more parents and their children living together as a unit. Okay? A group of one or more parents and their children living together as a unit. We're talking about what, guys? Remember, it's a noun. It's a very basic Spanish word. I'm pretty sure you guys know it. Oh, so let's see. Let's see if you can guess it. Uh-huh, Lynette is correct. Lynette, you are correct. We are talking about family or familia. <laughs> family. So let's see. Familia. Familia. And that means family. Just like I said a second ago. Uh, so that's an easy word. The spelling is almost the same, and Lynette gets the point. Good job, Lynette. So I'm going to add your name here. Lynette, and you have a point, my friend. Good job. Excellent. So please, Lynette, let us know the next number. Lynette Gig says, at long last, I have a point. Well, it's great, Lynette. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I think Pascal has a lagging or something like that. Um, <laughs> Pascal, if you refresh your browser, sometimes that helps. Um, but uh, Lynette, please let us know the next number we have only three words and so far trent is winning uh, but fan my who is very close and ks as well so let's see what happens <laughs> three across three across fan my who says at Lynette gigs muy bien <laughs> think you guys really want to guess this one. Oh my goodness. I know this one. This one is the longest. <laughs> okay, so let's see. The this is the <laughs> this is the word and we can see it's a long one. So it's probably more than one word. The first letter is the letter A, and then we also have the, le the letter L, sorry, the letter L. Also, we have the letters A or A and O or O. Okay, so this is actually two words, guys, two words. And we're talking about a thing or a noun, and it's a list or a list included when you write a letter to Santa. So usually this is a list and you list all the things you want. So we're looking for two words in Spanish 
that refers to that list. And list is one of, of the words that we need in Spanish, of course. So do you guys know the answer? We're talking about a list <clears throat> that includes or yeah, includes all the things that you are asking to Santa. <laughs> you know, you want Santa to bring you certain things. And because we're really close to Christmas, I wanted to add this. <clears throat> so do you guys know? We can see that the first letter is the letter L. Okay. So you pretty much have to translate one word that I already said multiple times. <laughs> so do you guys know the answer? It's a challenging one. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, three words, three words. <laughs> that was my bad, but yeah. Um, yeah, you're correct, you're correct, correct, Trent. Uh, <laughs> Lista de regalos, and that was my bad, guys. It's actually three words because de is a word. So, lista de regalos means it's something like saying a gift list, you know, and um, usually kids have that when when they write a letter to Santa, they include a list. They say, I want this toy or I want this to happen. And I was a good boy or a good girl. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trend in Tampa is correct. Um, so Trent gets a point. Great. So actually, as I said, this was three letters, three letters, three words. Lista means list. De means off. And regalos means presents. Okay. Uh, find my who says congrats to Trent next time. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Trent is leading. And um, please let me know, Trent, the next, um, the next, I give you already a point, right? Let me know the next number, please. Lista de regalos. Trent, are you there? Can you please let us know the next number? We have only um, two more, two more words. So we have the number twelve and the number thirteen. Okay, so Trent is saying 12 horizontal, 12 horizontal, that's 12 across, and uh, that's down here, guys, down here, and this word, this word has only four letters. One of the letters is the letter N, and 
This is a noun, guys, and the definition is a meal eaten in the evening. Okay, <laughs> we're talking about a meal that is eaten in the evening. So usually people have three different meals throughout the day. We're talking about the last one. Okay, so how do you say this in Spanish? Aha, uh -huh. Lynette, you are correct. We're talking about cena. Cena, KS is also correct. Fan Mei Hu, also correct. Cena. Cena means. What does it mean? It means dinner or supper. Okay, supper, the last meal. And um, la cena is feminine. The supper so who gets the point <laughs> ks says mi cena es sopa huh sounds good sounds good a really nice warm soup yeah that's great okay so lynette gets a point that is great and now we have the last one right we have the last word and that is right here i mean that's a number and this is the word the first letter is the letter d and we also have the letter r r d i r Let's see, that's 13 down. Okay, we're talking about, we're going to talk about a verb, okay? And this verb is about making something look more attractive by adding extra items or images to it, okay? To make something look more attractive, by adding extra items or images to it so we could be talking about adding furniture uh, paintings what's the verb for this and also uh, you can use this verb if you are putting up your christmas decor decorations so how do you call this verb in Spanish or what's the verb that we need in Spanish <laughs> find my who says decoration um, that's that's a good guess but that's not the answer and remember we're talking about a verb so usually Spanish verbs end with the letter R or R so you're kind of close find my who Lynette says decorir. You're close, but you have a typo, Lynette. One letter shouldn't be that. Just one letter, one vowel. Yeah, that's correct. Lynette says decorar. Decorar, and that is the answer. Decorar. Decorar. That means to decorate. Okay? To decorate. Decorar. And that's very easy. That's a very, very, very useful verb during this time. Because, you know, if you're putting up your Christmas decorations, you can use this verb for that. You can say, Estoy decorando la casa porque es Navidad. And that means I'm decorating the house or your home because it's Christmas. So yeah, Lynette gets the point. And that's it, guys. That's it. That's it. I can see that Pascal has one point. Fan Mei Hu, three points. KS, three points. Lynette, three points. And Trent also, well... Trent has six 
points so that is great we can see that we have a winner and uh, you guys did a great job before we formally <laughs> say the winner we are going to read the whole the whole like the whole crossword all the words because we did that last time and i think it was a good idea and lena i think lena kirkland suggested that so i think we should do it again and then after that i'm gonna read your your comments your messages your questions anything that you you would like to ask or say on the live chat okay so let's just read everything let's read everything and let's just use a different color let's use the uh, i think green green will be great okay so let's read the whole thing fogata 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 means bonfire pareja means couple pareja dar dar means to give rojo means red Lista de regalos means gift list. Fin and cantamos. We sing. Celebración. <clears throat> Celebración. Celebration. Decorar. To decorate. Quiero. I want recibir to receive or to get 100 100 this was a good one 100 mirada mirada is look okay Fam familia familia family and cena cena means supper or dinner okay so that is all the words and yeah you did a great job and we have we have a winner and the winner is the winner is <laughs> the winner is trent in tampa trent in tampa you won you did a great job my friend and um, I'm going to add your name here next to Kate Beck because Kate Beck has won once. Uh, so Trent in Tampa. Uh, I'm going to just make it a bit smaller. Trent in Tampa. So we have two people so far winning and also i'm going to add gonna, i'm going to add that you have won once and also kbeg has won once so we have so far a tie uh the monthly score is pretty much a tie uh, K Beck has won once and also Trent in Tampa. So let's see the next one what happens, right? So now let's read some of your comments, guys. Okay. Um, Fan Mai Hu says three way time for second. We need a tiebreaker. Yeah, I mean, let's see, let's see what happens yeah i mean during the month we we will have another two or three crossword puzzles and let's see what happens um but yeah i, I think that's what you're referring to fan my who three way time for second uh oh yeah for second place okay for second place uh fan my who ks and lynette you guys got three points each which is very very nice very nice and uh, let, let's see next time let's see next time we need a tie tiebreaker <laughs> yeah that's that's very good fan my who you did a great job 
Lynette says, me gusta Pedro Fernández. Pedro Fernández, yeah. Pedro Fernández is a singer and he sings with mariachi, mari with, with a mariachi, mariachi band. And uh, yeah, he is uh, very popular. Pedro Fernández. That's the one. I Yeah. I think that's the one I'm thinking, Lynette. <laughs> yeah, he is a great singer. Pascal Ennis says, Buenas noches a todos desde Irlanda. Pascal, thank you so much for being here. You did a great job. Um, you also, Lynette, you, you were really good as well. And good night, Pascal. Have a great night. And greetings to Ireland, Irlanda. Saludos a Irlanda, for sure. Have a great night. Buenas noches. Also, KS says, Aprendo una palabra nueva. Necesito trabajar en mis matemáticas. KS, you did a great job as well, my friend. You were very fast. And this crossword puzzle was very competitive. Like the whole, the whole game was very competitive. So you did a great job. And yeah, and thank you for sharing examples because that's great. That's great. Greatly appreciated. Thank you. Lynette Giggs says, Felicidades, Trent. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Congratulations, Trent. Fan my who good, good going, Trent. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lynette, yes. Great singer. Singer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pe Pedrito. Pedrito. Pedrito Fernandez. Pedrito Fernandez. Yes. Great singer. Uh, KS says, Trent, lo hiciste, hermano. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice of you guys. You're really kind. Lynette Giggs. Buenas noches, amigos y amigas. KS says, disfrute de tu, disfrute de tu noche. Disfrute, disfrute. Disfrute de tu noche. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. You are very, very nice. Very, You are so good at, speak, you know, guessing Spanish words. And you did, all of you did a great job. And, well, training Tampa. Congratulations. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Remember that you can subscribe to this channel. It's free. <laughs> And you can also download this crossword puzzle for free. You only need to go to smlessons.com slash games. Well, the, the link is um, in the video description down below. Remember to smash the bell button so you get notified every time I live stream. And give this video a like. If you like doing this, if you like this crossword puzzle thing that we have on this channel please give this video a like share it with your friends if you can that helps this channel a lot and check out the memberships on this channel that helps this channel a lot as well have a great night thank you for being here you are the best guys and i'll see you next time bye